Welcome to Immigration Quick Take. This is Ellie Rutledge Silver at the American Immigration Lawyers Association. Last week, Senators Orrin Hatch and Jeff Flake introduced the Immigration Innovation Act of 2018, or I Squared, a bill that, if enacted, would update the H 1B system and make other changes to the employment based immigration process. Here to share details is Diane Risch, AILA Associate Director of Government Relations. Diane, thanks for joining me. What are some of the key concepts of the bill? The I Squared bill seeks to modernize and reform the H 1B visa program and the employment based green card process. Among the reforms to the H-1B visa program include increasing the annual base allocation of H-1B visas from 65,000 to 85,000 visas. It would also create an adjustable cap on H-1B visas that could rise or fall depending on market demand. It would establish cap exemptions and prioritizations of H-1Bs during high demand years for certain individuals with a U.S. master's degree or higher. It would amend or kind of change the requirements in which an employer would have to file an amendment for an H-1B employee. It would require the Department of Homeland Security and state to give deference to prior H-1B non-immigrant visa petitions and visa approvals involving the same employer and employee. And finally, it would provide work authorization for spouses of H-1B workers, provided the worker has a pending or approved labor certification or immigrant visa petition. With respects to reforms to the employment-based green card system, it would do a number of things. It would eliminate the, the annual uh, per country cap on uh, employment-based green cards. It would help reduce the backlog for those who are stuck in the immigrant visa backlog for employment-based visas, and it would allow for additional flexibility in terms of mobility of employees while they're going through the green card process. Finally, the I squared bill offers welcome protections for U.S. workers. It would prohibit U.S. employers from bringing on an H-1B worker with the intent to displace a U.S. worker. It would also set aside uh, valued uh, funding for STEM education from H-1B fees to scholarship and education for U.S. workers. We encourage AILA members to consult the AILA website for additional information about the bill, where you'll find bill text, a bill summary, as well as a section by section. What is AILA's take on the bill? The I squared bill seeks to make critical reforms to the H-1B visa program and the employment-based green card process. In order to ensure that U.S. employers can continue to retain and attract high-skilled and highly talented employees from around the world. While the majority of the I squared bill is positive, there are a number of provisions relating to monetary penalties and additional requirements on high volume users that could have unintended consequences on small employers. As a whole, AILA acknowledges that the I squared bill is a thoughtful and smart proposal on high skilled immigration, which takes into consideration the valuable contributions that high skilled immigrants make to our local communities and our national economy. What can AILA members do to support this bill? AILA members can help support the bill by reaching out to their members of Congress and encouraging them to co-sponsor the bill. In addition, AILA's National Day of Action will be taking place here in Washington, D.C. This would be a fantastic opportunity for AILA members and their clients to come to Capitol Hill and to speak to members directly regarding a variety of topics on immigration, including the H-1B visa program and the employment-based green card process. To register, visit our website at ala.org backslash NDA2018. We encourage your attendance and look forward to seeing you there. For additional materials and resources regarding the I squared bill, please visit our website, ala.org. Thanks, Diane, for joining me. For the rest of you, please stay tuned for more updates from the American Immigration Lawyers Association.